Master, in one of the Buddhist stories that Master read to disciples, Brahma, <clears throat> the Lord of the Third World, pleaded to Buddha to not abandon the beings of this world due to their suffering. Why did he do that when he was the one causing all the suffering with his law of karma? Good question. The world here, the shadow world is a hypocritical world. I'm telling you, the Brahma is the creator of the physical uh, existence. On one hand, he keeps telling uh, the souls whenever come up to him, he say, you have to love one another, uh, showing love, showing compassion, all that. And on the, the other hand, you know, all these trap and tricks to make people fall and hurt each other and hurt other beings like animals, for example. So I scold him, I say, you hypocritical being. Just, I don't want to see you. I will take them up, whomever I can. That's what it is. Yes, Master. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Master. The chakra god and other gods, sometimes they have to also suffer. The Brahma gods last longer, okay? He will last until all the three worlds destroy by nature, okay? Everything in the three worlds will not last forever. But the Brahma lasts longer than other gods lower level, okay? Like second level or astral level. These gods, the rulers, they last shorter period of time, even though we can say many thousand years yes. or even longer than that. But they, they won't last long in their position because their merit run out. Hmm? You can be any of the gods of the second level, okay, if you have enough merit. Shakyamuni Buddha was also sometime uh, king of these heavens, yeah, the gods of these heavens, okay. That's why whenever a person wants to sacrifice for beings, they come down and test them so much, yeah, to see if they're real or they just want to take their throne. Because if your merit exceeds the God's merit, then you can take over. The lesser merit will have to go down. Be human again, even be animal. Yeah. And so they, are, they beg the Buddha to save them. Save all beings. That means save him also if he uh, reincarnate again as a human or as an animal. Do you see it now? Understand. Yes, yes. Because he suffers, so he also understands, yeah? He tested the practitioner. Uh, who want to be a Buddha to save beings. But that doesn't mean he has no respect for them. Yes. He knows if he's a real one, can help beings a lot, yeah? Mm. So now you understand, huh? Yes, okay. yes, yes. thank you, Mr. The Brahma uh, and all these gods, they're hypocritical. I keep scolding them all the time. Master previously had said that the force of karma is gone. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that uh, beings no longer reincarnate to pay for new sins, but instead must atone in some other way as judged by heaven in this life or in the afterlife? Uh, it depends. If they are good and repentant, okay, then I can help them to go up, okay? Yes. yes. But karma force is gone, meaning you don't have extra burden to take care. But your karma, you have to re regulate. Yes. For example, in one country, the government forbid drugs. So at least you don't have that temptation to include in your uh, burden in your life. Yes. If the children are born and they don't ever know the name of drug, they don't see the drug, they don't ever hear of it, then they have one less temptation to fight with or to be burdened with. Huh? Right. Yes. They would never be drug addict, okay? So then they would never be in hell for drug addict. Huh? Yes. They never have this uh, sickness or complication of drug-related uh, problems. Yes, mm. Master. So the karma force is the one that makes people more, more wired into doing bad things and tricked into doing bad things easily. But that doesn't mean what you do bad, you won't pay. You have to. Mm? Okay? Yes. Just less. Yeah? Mm. Understand. And if people do bad things in the past, but now they repent, and they sincerely repent, then the Master Power can help them to go to heaven, okay? Yes, thank mm. you, Master. You're welcome. Master, do all shadow universes have the same structure of ten levels, with a Lord for each level, a Hell, a Maya, and the Law of Karma? No, only the lower level of the shadow universes. Not the higher level, okay? Yes, ma'am. From the fourth level up, we don't have hell, okay? 
We don't have karma anymore. We don't have anything that tempted the soul to do bad thing and reincarnate. You got that? Yes, Master. And the soul will not be destroyed, huh? Uh, only when we are here in this uh, physical world and within the three worlds, we are subjected to all that, okay? To some heaven and some hell and some physical existence, like in this world. Is that what you want to ask? Well, I was wondering if, like, other shadow universes have yeah, yeah, the same... Yeah, similar, similar. Yes, Master. And is Master dealing with the same circumstances as we have here now on planets from other shadow universes? Yes, if, <laughs> if uh, the Master is there, have to, huh? What is the reason that different shadow universes develop similarly, like, like all these other planets uh, having meat or, or killing? Whew. You see, when a new world is born, okay, for example, a new planet is formed, yeah, by the force of something, yeah, good or bad, then it's empty, like a country without a king, yeah, without anything. So it's like up for grab. Anyone can go there if they have enough power, okay? Yes. Like the power of creation, like Brahma. Mm -hmm. One of the gods or the being in, in uh, Brahman heaven, the third heaven, when we look at it and see, oh, that's a good place, I will go there. And he'll go there and establish his throne and then begin to create things and attract other beings to come to his planet. Yeah, you see that? Yes. And then it begin this kind of, this kind of interaction, uh, good, bad, neutral, you know, helping each other, hurting each other by accident or by deliberation, etc., etc. And then karma begins to form again and again and again, huh? Yes, understood. And then it becomes similar to this situation, yeah? Yes, Master. Yeah. New world, new planets keep forming all the time, just as scientists do not always discover them because maybe they're too far or maybe it's still invisible, yeah? Okay? Yes, ma'am. Maybe they make an invisible shield also to, to cover the eyes of other, okay? Because they worry about intruder. Hmm? I understand, yes. yes. You see, we are also trying to intrude other planets already, like Mars, Moon, Venus, yeah? Yes, ma'am. They already are trying, <laughs> planning, and uh, uh, going soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They want to go soon, okay? Already preparing. You see that? Yes, yes Master. Master. Even people already sell the moon, yeah? Sell some part of the moon and some people buy it already, you know that. Yes. yes. Yeah. And then now even officially scientists ask other people to sell them rock from the moon if they happen to go up there. <laughs> By the way, bring back some rocks and sell it to us huh? for doing an experiment or something. You see that? Yes, Master. We are invaders. Uh, we are, cannot take care of our planet problem, but we already want to control other areas, yeah? far away from us. Many hundreds or thousands or millions of light years, yeah? Oh, my God, la. <laughs> ah, it's so funny. You know, everything is so quick and ephemeral. They're trying so hard as if they live here for thousands of years. Yes. yes. Mm. Is that okay with you already or? Uh, yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Yeah, next one. Uh, Master, with the new spiritual realm, does Master elevate beings from all different shadow universes to mm -hmm. the same new realm? Yeah, if, if they have affinity, if I can, yes. Oh, wow, thank you, Master. It's never crowded, don't worry. It's <laughs> big, very big. <laughs> oh, nice to know that, Master. Ah, uh, okay. Could the Master talk more about the new spiritual realm? How is it and uh, how people are and what, what do they do there? Oh, I don't know how to describe it in our language, actually. Wait until you get there, then you know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they're so free, so blissful, and there's nothing we can talk about it, okay? Yes, Even the fifth level cannot say already, just say they're brilliant with light and they're so incredibly beautiful and so free and and they just exist okay 
and they do what they want to do. We're excited to find out, Master. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Not so long anyway. Our life. <laughs> Just a few decades. So be patient, man, patient. <laughs> yeah. Master, in the most uh, recent conference, Master said that the people over there had no more ego left. So, mm -hmm. so I was wondering if uh, th th there is no more sense of individuality or separation? No, it's not like that. It's not like that. We all have individual uh, space, you know, and identity, yeah? It's not like you mingle together like a lump of, uh, <laughs> you know, a pastry. <laughs> you are free, you are yourself and everything, okay? It's just the ego is something that only exists in our kind of world, okay? Yes. So it's a like kind of force that, that make you compete with people, yeah? Make you jealous, make you territorial, make you um, wanting to be better than others and... Um, pushing other down and thing like that. Okay, huh? Yeah. Yes. In, in the other world, they don't have such tendency or quality or no need, okay? Yes. yes. Everyone never had anything that they need that they have to compete for, that they have to fight for, okay? Yeah. In this world, all these things come out also because of training, background. People don't have enough food, yeah? They don't have enough power, the strong oppress the weak. So they just try to get up and, you know, fight and to be equal and stuff like that, yeah? Understand. Or to have more food and thus uh, all these things come out and strengthen the power to to want to, to stand out. And that is the ego, okay? Yes, Master. Mm. In the heaven world, don't have this. No need. Mm? In higher heaven, of course. Yes. In the astral heaven, still have, okay? Understand. Thank you, Master. Has Master received lately any visits again from animals? who come to give Master any message or any other spiritual being or Master in the meditation? Maybe some new revelations that you can share with us, Master? Mm, yes, yes, they keep coming. They keep coming. And the revelation in my meditation now, it's, it's uh, nothing much for you to worry about. They just tell me to keep safe, you know, stay, don't move. And Many, many animals keep coming, all kind of species, even one species, different animals. Uh, yesterday, a little, very little one is a, a little frog as big as my thumb, yeah? <laughs> trying to make himself, uh, you know, uh, known by my attention and tell me. I said, okay, what, uh, you also even have a, have a message for me, I guess, right? <laughs> I said, yes, uh, uh, don't leave, you know, stay. Uh, or uh, go somewhere uh, better for you, and uh, I say, who sent you? Huh? Is it you yourself? Is a negative power sent you, or where are you from? So, is a she? Is a he? He told me the divinity sent me. I said, uh -huh. wow, don't they have something smaller? <laughs> 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 I said, okay, uh, thank you very much. Every time I thank them because the spider and all kind of. Squirrel, birds, and uh, frog, even skunk coming. You know, the skunk was so beautiful. He has a white white stripe from his head all the way to his tail. And then he has also a white thing on his toes. And Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. And he was telling me the same thing. I said, why you guys have to all say the same thing like this? So they say, just to make it stronger, poignant, and more powerful, so that you will not uh, neglect it just to make more stronger energy, so to keep you here. Yeah. I said, okay, I will consider that, but if I have to move, I have to move, but thank you so much for coming, you know. They even risk their life. They, they come into some dangerous places just to get my attention, yeah. I say, you don't do this to everyone else. They might squash you, you know, little ones, yeah. And I keep telling them, don't eat anything live, just eat what already discarded then I can take them to heaven. That's all. I have a short conversation. Inside, they tell me other things that sometimes I cannot tell you, huh? Okay? Yes, Master, I understand. And if you continue to give me a lot of work like this every day, <laughs> I don't know if I have time to even check my inside email. You know, I feel very sorry. Sometimes I thought I just have to quit it <laughs> to, to do more inside research, you know, but I just can't, so can't have everything. Too bad. Yes, Master. Did all these uh, animals 
and beings, did they come down from heaven to just help Master, or is it because they are just closer to heaven and they are not blocked like humans so that they can receive these messages to give Master? You're right. They're not blocked like humans. They have this advantage of being non-humans, but they have advantage that they are not blocked like us because our mind is too active. So it blocked out many things uh, in order to continue to function. If you know too much about your past life, about what to do next and all that, then it would be uh, wonderful, no? <laughs> yes, it would. But if you want to know too much about your past life, it might not also be that good. If you know that you are king of this country and then now you have to work for SMTV for food only. <laughs> I don't know if you're happy <laughs> to work for two meals a day. <laughs> Very happy. Uh, maybe you might start a revolution to get back your, uh, your thorn, whatever, yeah? Who knows? <laughs> Or if you know the neighbors is your wife and you go and look at her and say, my God, so ugly, what to do? <laughs> yes. So it's a, it's a curse, but it's also a blessing that we don't know much. We do day to day, okay? just like me, one minute after another, yeah, one minute to the next, just do what you have to do in front of you. And pray, meditate, of course, yeah, eat moderately, yeah, like that. Hmm? Yes, Master.